Hey there guys, Robert here, and welcome to episode 775 of Logo History. For this episode, we're going to have a look at KLM. It is a Dutch airline that was founded on October 7th, 1919. It is the oldest existing airline in the world. Their headquarters are in North Holland, Netherlands. Its key people are Albert Plesman, founder, and Peter Elbers, president and CEO. As of 2019, they have 35,410 employees. Their website is klm.com. Uh, again with this coronavirus or COVID-19 thing, I don't need to look at that right now. Um, so yeah, they're monitoring the current situation closely, which is good. Refunds if your flight has been cancelled, and there's a Q&A if you have any questions for them. Wow, look at that car! That looks really cool. The Eiffel Tower is pretty nice, like, pretty beautiful as it is. Look at that bed, it's so comfy, I feel like I could sleep in that. Alright, let's go back to this episode, shall we? And now, without further ado, let's get started. 1919 to 1921, there are the letters KLM in dark blue text and it's inside this dark blue shield with wings on the side and a crown on the top. 1921 to 1926, the logo became slightly modified and more yellow, blue, and black. 1926 to 1938, the logo became more modified and more yellow, orange, purple, and blue. 1938 to 1949, the logo became modified and more orange. 1938 to 1944, the logo became more modified and more red and white. In addition, a red shape has been added to the logo. 1949, the logo became modified, smaller, and more blue and white. In addition, the letters KLM and Royal Dutch Airlines in black text are added to the logo. 1950 to 1951, the logo became red, the letters KLM became blue, and the words Royal Dutch Airlines became red. All of these things are inside this white circle with dark blue outline and dark blue drop shadow. 1951 to 1956, the logo became blue, and the circle, the letters KLM, and the words Royal Dutch Airlines became purple. 1956 to 1958, the circle, the letters KLM, and the words Royal Dutch Airlines became black. In addition, the logo retained the same color as before and the circle is inside this red striped square. 1958, there is a white circle with black outline. Inside that circle, there is a blue crown. Below that crown are the words the world over, the letters KLM, and the words Royal Dutch Airlines in black text. The square became black and blue. 1959 to 1963, the square became slightly modified, the crown became bigger, the letters KLM became blue, and the words the world over and Royal Dutch Airlines got removed from the logo. 1963 to 1972, there was a blue and light blue rectangle with a white circle. Inside the white circle is a light blue crown as well as the letters KLM in blue text. 1972 to 1991, the circle and the rectangle got removed from the logo and the letters KLM became darker. Also, the crown may have slightly changed its form. 1991 to 2011, the letters KLM became the same color as the crown, which is light blue. Speaking of the crown, the crown may have slightly changed its form. Here is the Sky Team variant. 2011 to the present, the words Royal Dutch Airlines and light blue text got added to the logo. Here are seven other versions. Alright, that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History, and I'll see you tomorrow for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 776, Air Canada. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss a single video from me, as we're on the road to 4,000 subs. Bye for now.